Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Song Eun Jung uh, at Song Yunman University. I'm the third author of this paper. And uh, Dr. Kim Young Gang at Song, Song Yunman University is the first author of the paper, and she will cover method and result section. And then Min Sung Kim, Min Sung Shin at Ina University uh, is the second author of this paper. We authors are very pleased to present our study in this top paper session of Information Systems Division. Um, information System Division uh, has been my intellectual home since I was a graduate student. I, I, I presented my first conference paper back in 2002 uh, in Seoul ICA. Uh, uh, in this information systems division. Um, uh, is there anyone who remember me in those times? <laughs> There's no, you know? Uh, at that time, I barely spoke English and it was so hard uh, to present my paper in, uh, in English. Uh, I'm still not very good at it, but, but it was so hard and it is even harder uh, that I engage in um, conversation with other the scholars. Uh, so I think now, looking back, and I was an uh, underdog in this conference, you know. Uh, but I never give up, and I I uh, kept sending my paper. Uh, I say every year, and then I present my paper almost every year, and then finally, <laughs> and finally we have. We have privilege to present our paper in this top paper session, and we are so happy. And I think this is kind of underdog success story. <laughs> you know? okay. right. But so let's say this is an underdog story. My story is an underdog story. And then after listening to my story, how do you feel? Are you inspired? <laughs> no? Are, are you touched? Or are you enlightened? Okay. Um, and maybe not, but, but that is what we want to find in this study. How do people respond to underdog success story and what kind of emotional and cognitive responses they have and then and the, those emo emotions, how, how, how those emotions relate to uh, social uh, engagement behaviors. Uh, social media engagement behaviors like clicking uh, like button or, or sharing intention. Um, all right, the, this is the capture of the YouTube video that widely shared in SNS. This is Paul Port's story. In 17 years ago, he was uh, uh, in his mid 30 and he was a mobile, mobile phone uh, salesperson. Uh, but he, he didn't receive any formal edu music education, but he never gave up. Okay? He kept, kept practicing, and then finally he got a chance, but most, uh, almost nobody expected he would sing very well, but, but he uh, sang songs beautifully, and then, uh, and then uh, the audience was shocked, and then got emotional, even referees. Uh, shed tears like that. There are strong emotional responses then and this uh, story was widely shared uh, in, in social media and almost 90 million uh, views and then a lot of the shares. So this is the, one of the uh, cases of underdog success story uh, in SNS. Probably the, the most Probably the, uh, the most known example of underdog success story is David and Goliath. It's David is weak, small, and heavily disturbed it. And that's the, one of the characteristics of underdog. Okay? And then, but he never gave up. Okay? And uh, tenacious, and they kept uh, trying to get the dream. Uh, but that's the, another characteristic of underdog success story. And then uh, and he got, eventually he achieved his dream. Okay? Uh, and and then in their famous book, Made to Stick, and he and his argue hey, this underdog success story is one of the three basic parts of inspiring stories. Okay, so uh, uh, we want to know how uh, people respond to uh, to that kind of stories in SNS, 
and then how people and then what are their uh, audience users uh, behavior or writing expression or sharing intention like that so this is our research questions what determines okay uh, media engagement uh, responding to under the social story but there are there are studies previous studies one is Underdog effect studies, and we have tendency to support underdog rather than top dog, but that's not the study on the relative or underdog success story. Uh, there's one research group, and they use the underdog success stories in their research frame, uh, positive media psychology, many of the early words research team, and then they, they use those underdog success stories, uh, and then, uh, and then uh, they, they, they try to find uh, the, the, the effect of eudaimony motivation, okay, and the, the, the seek people, uh, the seek for so the meaning of life in while they're consuming media content, okay, and then they believe people have not only hedonic motivation, but they have a eudaimony motivation, and then, and then while they, they consume the inspiring stories and they experience transcendent uh, emotions such as inspired, enlightened, admiration, and such like that. Okay, but they, they used some underdog success stories, but they uh, not specifically focus on underdog success stories. They used also other touching stories. Okay, and then one important relevant study is Elgore's height, other praising emotions. They found hey, when people are exposed to the other people's success and they may. Uh, being touched or elevated, and also they admire, uh, and also they feel gratitude. But they they found that people not experience the joy, you know, with the other people's success, which makes sense. Okay, somebody have a great success, good for you. Okay, <laughs> but why should I be happy? Okay, but think about this: when other success story was presented in narrative form, okay, there is protagonist, weak, okay, and the innocent. But it also have some positive characteristics, like you know they they working very hard like that, and then and then and then they experience up and downs, and then you know you you are uh, following the stories, you may build some uh, identification or or support, a feeling of unity, uh, and then and then uh, and there is strong emotional attachment. Okay, Wasman and Wazin, you know, and and uh, Bernie Green. Strong, uh, strongly recommend this article, and then uh, Rosman was in and they said hey, not only people sympathize other people's uh, sadness or, or sorrow, but also we sympathize other people's joy too. But only uh, as long as uh, the the other person is, you know, uh, strongly emotionally attached. Okay, there is attachment, and then we may feel. Uh, joy, sympathetic joy, and also called simhedonia. Okay, so in underdog success stories, there's a relative, and then you may have some emotional attachment, and then when underdog have a great success, and we must feel simhedonia. Okay, and then that is strong emotion that that affect uh, the touching or, or being touched, and also lead to uh, social media engagement. So we generally use this framework, okay, uh, model of inspiring uh, media. And here is basic characteristics, and here is effective and cognitive physiological responses, and then there is outcomes and media behaviors. Okay, so here we have underdog versus non-underdog success stories, just great success stories. And then we uh, we, we we have several uh, important emotional cognitive responses. And particularly, we focus on moving and touching. And in our, we, we <coughs> analyze various data and we concluded, hey, moving and touching, feeling of moving and touching is not just one emotion, okay? But this, this may be the summarizing emotion for uh, responding to all other emotions. So uh, we, we, we have this as a key mediating variable. And then we focus on this, social sharing okay, behaviors. So basically, this is our, this is our model, okay? We have uh, under the success story, not under the success story. Under the success story should, should cause greater joy, greater admiration, these are emotional responses, and greater unexpectedness, cognitive responses, enlightenment. 
learning something, okay? And then we are uh, being moved, uh, and then uh, writing expression and sharing intention, okay? Now, uh, the Dr. Binyanga will talk about method and result section. Hi, I'm first author, Kim Yang Hang, and I'll be continuing the presentation at this point. So, I do have this one. <laughs> so method, we used online experiment, and we separated two conditions. First one is non-underdog story, story, and second one is underdog stories, and each of 10 videos in groups. So we also measured joy, admiration, and unexpectedness, enlightenment, enlightening expression, and sharing intentions. And we have 20 videos, and each video was viewed by 16 participants. So 20 messages, what? Five minutes. Okay. 20 messages and 16 participants per video. So we have 320 participants in total. So it was a multi-level design. So let me tell you a little bit about the success story videos. Actually, it's from our previous research, and we collected 65 YouTube videos from the uh, using keyword success story, challenge, and never give up. Then after copyright checks, we have 40 videos we can use, and perceived under the. With some of them are perceived as underdog stories, but the others are perceived as non-underdog stories. So based on this result, and we choose top 10, we choose the top 10 as underdog stories, and the other, the bottom part 10 is underdog stories. No, non-underdog stories, sorry. So here's an example of underdog stories. Um, maybe I'm gonna choose Susan Boyle, who, is, who was the winner of the Britain's Got Talent, like Paul Poch, who is, uh, who Jung, Sung Min Jung said, and Jim Abbott overcame the disability, and, oh, sorry. <laughs> and non underdog stories, uh, we can see many famous people, and like Elon Musk, Serena Williams, and Denzel Washington, and you know these people. And they also have difficulties and challenges, but they also overcome these difficult situations. However, underdogs has more disadvantages conditions, so we focus on that. So I'm gonna skip the measure of variables because we have time limit. So we measured joy, admiration, unexpectedness, enlightenment, and being moved liking expression and sharing intentions as variables and we judge story was successfully manipulated and about data analysis let's firstly look at this and level one there is a level one variables and level two variables as well so we tried to use multi-level analysis but we couldn't do that because all, variety, uh, all variables has really low interclass co co correlation coefficients. So according to Hack's suggestion, we used a single level analysis. So let's look at the result. So story type affects many factors. And look at the first one. It's about the effect of story type of liking and sharing. So story type affects liking expression, but story type doesn't affect sharing intention. Okay, <laughs> don't have time. So secondly, uh, we checked the indirect effect of being moved uh, to liking expression and sharing intention, and it was significant as well. And we checked joy, it's significant. Admiration, it was significant. With unexpectedness. Actually, story type affects on effectiveness, but it doesn't affect the being moved and liking expression and sharing intention through unexpectedness. So that's the point. And enlightenment, it was significant for both. And I'm gonna tell you about theoretical implications because we used under the narratives and 
we found that people experience joy, especially sympathetic joy, we call the Simedonia, so responding to underdog stories. And we found also being moved is very important to key factors in inspiring media such as underdog stories. So finally, we reached the limitations of our studies. So it was not easy to uh, differentiate between underdog stories and non-underdog stories in this case. And also we tried to use multi-level analysis, but we couldn't. So next time we can do the separate, we can use the um, distinguishable messages for further details. So, and finally, the third one is we only check, tested the positive emotions, but not negative emotions at all in terms of uh, positive media psychology is that it. So uh, this is end of our presentation and Thank you for listening.